we will demonstrate an engine 1 bleed fault due to an overheat condition. Let's assume you are the pilot non-flying. You are in cruise flight and everything is normal. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. The engine one bleed system has failed. On the bleed system page, which has been called automatically, the bleed air temperature is displayed amber because it is abnormally high. This is the reason for the failure. The amber fault light on the engine one bleed push button switch confirms the failure. The BMC detects the overheat and automatically closes the engine 1 bleed valve to protect the system. With the valve closed, the bleed pressure falls to zero and the temperature decreases. The engine 1 bleed system is no longer available. Notice that the engine 1 bleed push button switch fault light remains on even though the temperature is now within limits. This is because the BMC considers the engine 1 bleed system faulty and keeps the engine 1 bleed valve closed for the rest of the flight. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ACAM actions. We will set the cross bleed selector to open for you. Observe the ECAM. The cross bleed valve is displayed amber during transit and inline green when fully open. The pressure and temperature values for the left side of the system are back to normal because now both sides are being supplied by engine 2. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, you can clear the message. We will do it. If you need to use wing and ice, you will have to switch off one air conditioning pack. We will deal with this fact later. In the inoperative systems column, engine 1 bleed is listed. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, you can clear the status page. We have cleared the status page for you. It came action completed. Now we will see what happens if you have to use wing and ice with the engine one bleed still inoperative. Let's assume you encounter icing conditions and you decide to switch on your wing and ice. We will do it for you. The engine 1 bleed fault procedure is automatically recalled on the engine warning display. This is because one engine bleed system is not sufficient to supply wing and ice and both air conditioning packs at the same time. The procedure requires you to switch pack 1 off. Note, for more information about the packs, refer to the R21 air conditioning chapter. We have switched pack 1 to off for you. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, we will clear the message. On the status page, pack 1 has been added to the inoperative systems column. For training purposes, to teach you more about the pneumatic system, we will add another failure to your previous configuration. This will be a left wing leak.
On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. On the SD, the ECAM bleed page is automatically presented. On the air conditioning panel, the indications from the previous failure remain unchanged. The title of the failure indicates that a bleed leakage in the left wing has been detected. The left side of the bleed system has to be shut down in order to prevent any damage from leaking hot air. The first line of the ECAM procedure requires you to switch the cross bleed selector to the shut position. With the selector in auto position, the cross bleed valve would have been closed automatically, but remember, you have opened it manually in the previous procedure. The pilot flying will ask you to do the ECAM actions. We have set the cross bleed selector to shut. Observe the indications. The cross bleed valve closes. The pressure of bleed system 1 returns to zero. Since there is no hot air supplied, the left wing anti-ice valve indication becomes amber. The wing anti-ice indications will be explained further in a later module. We will do the next step of the procedure for you. The wing anti-ice was switched off because you do not want to de-ice one wing only. The ECAM advises you to avoid icing conditions for the remaining part of the flight. The status page also informs you that you have to avoid icing conditions. The wing anti-ice indication has been added to the inoperative systems column. The engine 1 bleed and pack 1 indications remain from the previous failure. We will now briefly look at several abnormals without performing the procedures to see the remaining indications of the pneumatic system. In normal operation, when you use APU bleed, the cross bleed valve automatically opens. If it should fail to open, there is an ECAM caution and the cross bleed valve is displayed cross line amber to indicate disagreement. Conversely, if the cross bleed valve should fail to close in automatic mode. Example given. After the APU bleed has been switched off, it is displayed in line amber along with an ECAM caution. Accordingly, the engine bleed valves and the HP valves are displayed amber if their position disagrees with the commanded position.